Actor Martin Short calls himself a humble comedy legend. <laughs> it has been a busy few months for the versatile funny man. He released a new book and returned to the Broadway stage. Jamie Wax spoke with Short about his roots in comedy, his favorite characters, and coping with tragedy. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. It's a busy time for Martin Short. He's written a new book and is currently starring in his fourth Broadway show, the hit comedy, It's Only a Play. There was a woman fast asleep the other night. <laughs> really, fast asleep. And you wanted, I had my drink here like this, so I kept wanting to go. Oh, sorry! <laughs> it's it's obvious oh, that wait. Tony winner Martin Short is at home when he's on stage. James Wicker, but everyone calls me Jimmy. Hello. I think what's fascinating about theater is, is you, you try to achieve something that, you, that no one can ever achieve, which is perfection. Right now, he's in It's Only a Play, which tells the story of the opening night of a Broadway show as cast members, the director, and writer nervously await reviews. Oh, James Wicker! Of course! We had to do all those retakes because I was coming off Percocet. You kept falling asleep on my couch. <laughs> he replaced Nathan Lane in January and has slipped seamlessly into the cast. So says co-star and old pal Matthew Broderick. He's so great and, um, you know, if you're going to lose Nathan Lane, it's very nice to have Martin Short come in. There he is, America's oldest living, most promising young playwright. How is it to be back on stage live eight times a week in front of a live audience? You know, there's no greater uh, excitement for an actor than to be in New York City doing a play. It's the thing you fantasize when you're a little kid. This is Jiminy Glick talking to my old friend Jerry Seinfeld. Short is best known for his characters. Give me a C, a bouncy C. Oddball, zany. You'd rather see me die! Brilliantly weird. The snake is a very long animal. He developed many of these characters on the stage of improv group Second City. It's what's in the hut that counts. And later on television on SCTV. She loves me at my amazement. And Saturday Night Live. Do you have a favorite character? I'm usually more interested in if someone says, hey, do you know what my favorite character is you do? You know, I did this film Clifford, this unusual 10-year-old boy. It's amazing how many people will talk about that unusual 10-year-old boy. <laughs> Ned Needlander, who I played, the, you know, the character from Three Amigos. You and I will settle down in a cottage built for two. If you're 42 and you're a male, often that's the guy they'll pick. So I'm more interested in what people might say to me. The subtitle of your book, I must say, is my life as a humble comedy legend. Yes. Uh, is there something... It was going to be Stroke Me Lady Fame, but we thought we'd offend people. <laughs> yeah. In your book, you discuss the loss of your wife, Nancy, in 2010 to ovarian cancer. How has your life changed since, since losing her? Well, you, it, it becomes horrible for a while, and then you accept the loss. I mean, I have three children, and you have to figure it out. My analogy is, uh, in the book, I say, is, is it's like a, you know, you're halfway over the ocean, and one of the engines of the jet goes up, but you still have 365 passengers. You've got to, it's a little tougher to keep uh, equilibrium going, but you have to land that plane safely. Last thing I'm going to ask you. You, more than any comedian of your generation, I feel, have a connection to the comedians of old. You respect shtick like no one I've ever seen. You, <laughs> you reinvent shtick. With Melanie Griffith. <laughs> Use the cheap word. Go ahead. I'm uh, no, ready. I need, I yeah, need yeah, some. Yeah. I need. I want some shtick lessons from you. Yes. All right? I would like a, a spit take lesson from Martin Short, please. Well, it has to be within the moment. Okay. So, you say to me, how many years before you turn seventy? Mm -hmm. How many years before you turn seventy? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> many, many, many years, many years. But thanks for bringing it up. Mm -hmm. Well, there's another variation of this. All right. Ask me again. All right. How many years before you turn 70? Uh, well, maybe <laughs> now I'm 64, so I'm, you do the math. I've never been very good at it. All right, try me. Let's see how you do. Okay. Um, do you think you'll always um, just live in a studio apartment? <laughs> yes. That was pretty Get good. Get in there? All right. That was good. Based on sincerity. <laughs> That's excellent.
You can see Martin Short at the Jacobs Theater through March 29th, and it is definitely worth going to see him. He's great. Oh, see, and you laughed, and even though you know it's coming, because he's such a nice, nice man. I tell you, he's, he's so one talented. of those guys that's as warm as you hope he will yes. be. He's just great. Yes. He does not disappoint. No. Good to see you, Jamie. Good to really see you, good Bill. To see Thanks. You.